right, so next what you want to do is you want to put the attachment on. Um, I'm doing the number two, which is the shortest one I have. So it'll give them a little bit of a trim because um, otherwise, with uh, at least with the griffs, because they have hair, not fur, it'll start, he'll start to shed a little bit, um, which is not really ideal because he's supposed to be a dog that doesn't shed. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, I'm using my number two attachment. And what you want to do is you want to use it going with the grain. Go ahead and sit, Bubby. Going with the grain of the hair. So you can see all the hair from the follicle, it's going down. So you want to shave with it, or shave, sorry, clip with it. We are not shaving you, maybe your belly. Um, so you want to go with the grain of it, because otherwise if you go this way, it will look crazy and patchy. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. And you know, just do really long strokes, the full length of his body, get his little baby legs. Oh, yeah, he gets lazy and decides he wants to sit. Yeah, so get the back of the legs too. And what I do is I, I start from one side and then I just work my way to the other. Nope, stand up, Bubby. You can see Ralphie's a good boy. He's just um, incredibly lazy and wants to sit all the time. Which, I mean, I don't blame him. If you could, why not? And I just sort of move the hair out of the way so it doesn't, he doesn't end up like stepping in it and making a giant mess. Yeah, so just follow, you know, every, and I feel like that's gotta be it for most dogs. I'm obviously no expert. I'm just Ralphie's mom. But I think most dogs, their grain of hair sort of goes um, down their back. And you can see on the sides start to go down, so let's go ahead and do that that way. Uh, a little thicker over there. And then sometimes what I do to get uh, the underbelly a little more is I'll just sort of pull it out and then keep doing that. I'm not going to say it's perfect, but also with like shaggier dogs like this, um, there's a lot of room for air that you really don't notice, which is pretty nice. Um, so yeah, I'll just finish getting his little baby legs. This side, the side leg. What a good boy we have. All right. Um, and then, yeah, while you're sitting, we'll get your back. And I, what I do is I put my hand like where his ears are. It's sort of like a marker so that um, those don't get caught up. I mean, I'm sure it would be fine. I've like done this even like on my own hand, like they're very safe, but still we don't need any accidents, especially right now. So I just always um, err on the side of caution. Oh my god, they gotta see you. And then we'll pull and do more of those. Get this right leg a little bit. And even with the leg hairs, I sometimes, because Ralphie doesn't love having uh, this vibration against his little bony legs, which, I mean, I don't blame him. So I'll just, like, pull that out and do that as well. I mean, again, with the scruffy dogs, it's, they're sort of hard to mess up. If you went the opposite way, that would be brutal. But otherwise, as long as you follow the grain, um, it's pretty good. Alright, I'm almost done with the body. Pretty easy. Easy peasy. Um, yeah. So that is, you can see, like now he's like nice and trim, but nothing, nothing too short crazy, which is what we like. We want a little bit of scruff. Next I'm going to do his chest hair, but as we know, the beard. Very important not to get. Um, because this can get a little more, I don't know, maybe because he lays on it, a little more nappy, I do brush this out. And when his hair is longer, I'll brush his back out too, but it was so short, uh, there's definitely no, no gnats there. So let me brush that little crazy for Swayze chest out. And then I hold this beard hair because I don't want, obviously, to shave that. And then again, with the grains down so that lion's 
Mine's mine. Ralphie doesn't like when I touch his beard because um, he thinks I'm gonna comb it, which is not his favorite. So it does get a little more jumpy, but you can see like these clippers are so easy and like forgiving, like it's fine. And you can see I got maybe a little too close there, so that's an oopsie, but you know what? This beard's gonna cover it, it goes back. It's all good. Yeah, I know, I know, you don't like that. What a good boy. All right, come on, okay, come on. So next what I'm gonna do is his face. And this is where it gets a little more tricky because we got little baby eyes and we got little baby nose and the ears. So what I do when I'm doing the top of his head is I put my hand on his eyes, which he likes, I think, because he knows then like something's happening, I'm like protecting him. And then also just for me knowing I'm not gonna accidentally poke him in the eye. Um, so just put the hand there. And then again with the grain, always going back. We get that. And then I wanna get the side of his eye, so I'm just gonna put my hand there cover his eye and now I am like getting the ear which is fine he's got his little baby floppy ears and we'll do this side good boy it's a little awkward because usually I wouldn't try to be facing the camera and I would just do whatever angle getting under the ears a little bit um, and go on the ear so now what I'm doing to go to shave it on the ear is I'm taking his ear and I'm putting it flat on my hand just to create a flatter surface. And then you just, you can press against it, like just so that you're getting, you can like feel a little more friction, but obviously you don't want to press it too hard because you don't want to hit the babies. And then just getting sort of under it. Basically what I'm doing is just lifting and moving his ear um, to get the hair around it. I will say the ears are my least favorite part because um, those took a while for me to get good at. Not so much of this part, it's when you cut the excess hair. And I bought like some, I don't know, I forget what they're called. They're like these like zigzag like clippers or scissors. And I just like sucked at them. So I just used my eyebrow scissors since Ralph and I share everything. All right. Let's take a look. I can use a little bit more. Nope. And this side. Apologies for seeing so much of my arm kit. And then maybe a little more on this. So I'm just gonna cover the eyes. Boop. Cover this side. There we go. I'm gonna get more. Make sure everything's even. And sometimes I will clip. <laughs> yeah, what's going on with that leg? You don't like that today, huh? All right, we'll get that later. Okay, so next is what I use my little eyebrow scissors. Um, and they're also Ralphie's eyebrow scissors. And so just like this like excess stuff that's right here. So this, I don't know how groomers do it. I'm not saying that this is the right way. All I'm saying is this is the way that I do it. Is, um, so what I do is I just sort of collect um, where, I got a little goose in there, where this is and I sort of like pinch it together. And then what I do, Ralphie's a good boy, but I still, I hold his like little beard. That's where it really comes in handy to be absolutely certain he doesn't move. Cause my, my biggest fear is, is that like he loses an eye. And be a good boy. You get a treat afterwards. You want some cheese? Yeah, I bet. And I take the scissor and I just put it, I put it so that this back end is always against his eye. This is always above his eye. We're basically, we're trying to cut it. Also, obviously not trying to like ever, ever hurt his eye. And so then I just put it there and get all the hair and we just do a quick clip. I've also been doing this for so long. Ralphie's sort of used to it and he knows just to stay still. We'll get all those hairs out that we just did. And then I'm gonna do it again um, okay, see, good boy. Get more of those. Oh, what a good boy. Good job. 
And that's how I get the little hairs like around Ralphie's eyes. Um, obviously if you have a more wiggly dog, I don't know if like you have somebody else hold it or what you do or maybe just sort of like, maybe don't do it as close. And sometimes I'll even, again, you can like hold the eye, but then it's harder to get as close and he doesn't like that. So I just hold his beard. I guess you could hold the dog's head, but I have the beard, so I'm taking advantage of it. And then we'll just clip that again. And you also get a little bits around your nose. Yeah, and I just like, Ralphie stays still. He's a good boy. I just hold his beard as sort of an extra precaution. And then like he has this little widow's peak thingy above his nose. And so we'll just trim that a little bit. But yeah, we gotta get these hairs out of the eyes. I'm a good boy. And I actually usually talk to him like this, which I think, um, you know, calms them down and sort of keeps their mind busy a little bit as well. So less likely to pull away from you. All right, <gasps> look at his beautiful eyes. Can we do a shake so we can see what it looks like? No, nope. sit, do a quick shake. Do a quick shake. No? Okay, that's fine, we'll, we'll look at it later. Okay, so now I'm gonna do his ears. And this is a little trickier for a number of reasons. One, um, it's sort of hard to tell on the outside. You can't really see where the ear is and where the hair is. So I always make sure I do it from the inside and you can see where the ear is, where the hair is, because again, uh, don't wanna cut the babies. So then what I do is I just start, and even that's another thing is you can put your finger, like if you don't trust yourself, like where the ear is, and so you know to go like above your finger. I've gotten pretty good at this though. Um, so I just follow, and you really wanna just follow the natural line of the ear. Um, I've messed this up so many times, but I've been also grooming Ralphie's hair for about seven years, so I've gotten much better at it, but he had some like pretty like crazy looking ears <laughs> a couple times in the beginning. But yeah, you basically, you just really want to just follow the natural curve. And then what I'll do is I'll start to pull it out and see like, okay, it looks crazy. Um, oh, blending shears. That's the name of the scissors that are supposed to be used for this. I just was really bad at it. Um, and then I'm gonna cut like some of these like little extra hairs in the inside. And get more of it over there. And so it just gives like that natural curve and then just take some creative liberties and like, okay, we want to like sort of make the indentation of the ear. Doo -doo. And we'll pull those ear hairs out later. And so now you can see there's this like weird little, like not great. <laughs> so I'm just going to round that out so it doesn't look as weird. And again, luckily with the shaggy dogs, very forgiving when you make mistakes. So um, you can see I'm not being like the most scientific, but it works. And voila, pretty good year. And I'm also like seeing like right now, I'm like, okay, that's a little too long compared to everything else. Just give those guys a little nip. It's fine. I think that's how Eddie's mom <laughs> cuts her hair. Just a little extra nips, nips here. Um, and then we'll move on to the other ear. Oh, what a good boy. You're going to get so much cheese after this. And then again, just, you know, following around. And this ear I find way easier. I mean, Ralphie's got like, this is his normal ear and this ear like folds weird. I don't know why they say it's because like that's how it probably was when he was in the womb. Um, who knows, but it folds weird, but it's a lot easier. Maybe it's just the angle. I'm right handed. I don't know. It's a lot easier to cut this one. And just random, following along, nothing scientific, just basically trying to find the shape and not cut his ear. Um, pulling it out again, you can see my first cut, it looks pretty nuts, so just evening that out using my professional eyebrow <laughs> scissors. <laughs> and then just curving that guy a little bit more. All right, that one went pretty easy. Oh, see some stragglers. Probably go a little shorter, but I think it's fine. Hmm, I think that's her favorite thing. It's fine. So, the, I, so I usually am sitting on the floor, like, 
in a sports bra and like boy short underwear cutting Ralphie's hair in the bathroom. Um, obviously for the video I didn't want to do that, but usually what I would do is I would take him and like sit him in my lap, sort of like this, because he would be comfortable to be sitting in my lap, and then I go around, his paws aren't very long right now, but, and then I just cut around his little baby Muppet paws. But they're not very long, and this is like weird to do with him on a, a little dresser, so we're not gonna do that. But what we are going to do is get some of these paws just on top with the clippers as well. Um, so just take that, take this paw, and more of that leg hair, what a good boy. I know. Ralphie had um, a mole removed on this paw, so he's very sensitive about it, even though that was like, I don't know, six years ago. So we let him have it, it's fine. You can have one random hairy paw. And I'm just like, other places I see, it's a little bit longer, I'm gonna go ahead and go through. Um, just make everything nice and even. And the other thing you notice is like, I did like all of his body and then I did his face and now I'm going back. The reason I do that is because you don't want, um, you don't want the clippers to overheat because they will get hot. And like, this feels fine now. Like if I feel, I you can do it on your hand, but one of the things I've seen a lot of reviews is like, it got so hot and it's like, well, yeah, that's what happens with any clippers. Just sort of common sense, like with that set, sort of friction if you use it too long. Um, so that's why I, I try to take breaks like on and off. But usually the only time I run into that because he's so little is really um, like in the, when he goes from a winter to a summer cut and it just like takes a little bit longer. So what we are gonna do now is we are gonna do this little booty. And um, one of Ralphie's least because he thinks we're at the vet, I'm gonna stick something in his butt. But what I do to, for his tail is I, I put my hand under it like that. So again, sort of like with the ears, is you wanna like, just like a little bit more like sturdiness. And then I do the same thing, oops, with the clippers. And go ahead, get that there. And that just takes like a little bit. And then what I do, um, and it is funny, it's similar to the ears. You wanna hold and make sure you don't get any of that skin or the nubby, so I know where it's at. And then I cut around it to shape this little nub butt a little bit. And I'm just, I've been doing this for a while, so um, I don't really use my finger as much. I, I know it by heart, but I think it is a good way. No, nope. yeah, we're not gonna stick anything in your butt. I do think it's a good way, stay, um, is just to put your finger where the skin is, is like your own marker to make sure you don't cut them. Um, so another one of Ralphie's least favorite parts is because like the butt, you don't want that hair there because then when they poop and stuff and get caught in it. So that's when I take off the attachment and I'm gonna just sort of take out some of this hair and we go just re regular old blade on the bootay and we give him a, a nice little uh, bikini wax there. Oh, and one thing to note, I, I know it sounds gross, but you can wash your hands. God knows we are like a thousand times right now. I just put my finger over his little booty hole um, <laughs> so I make sure I don't nip it. Um, and so I just put my finger over that. And... Yeah. So a little bare bum. And it's fine, like most people don't even notice, like with this tail down, you can barely. And then this way, it's just for like cleanliness, you don't have to worry about, um, you know, poop getting stuck in there. Uh, another thing, this is where his berries used to be. <laughs> and um, I just cut the hair off that, so that's not too long either. But you, um, yeah, you wanna like be careful again with like the skin, so just making sure it's at before you make any cuts. And the only thing that I'm not going to do, and I usually only do like every other time, um, but I'll just sort of show you, is the bottom of their foot, like this hair. So like these are pretty, like these are safe. They're not very like sharp. Like you can put this on your hand even. Like it's fine. Like loose skin. So I, I don't know, I guess if maybe you had like a hound dog or something. I don't know how that works, but like a regular, it's fine. 
So to get this hair out of their little baby paws, um, you just use that. And so it's weird now because I usually have him in my lap and I just like go through and he's like very relaxed. I like rub his belly a little bit. Um, but I'm not gonna do that this time, but that's usually how I do it. But you can see now we have a nice little, we got a nice little uh, groom's little pup. Still a little shaggy, but it looks a lot more kept um, and won't shed. Um, so for grooming, that's it. And now the least favorite part, comb into beard. Um, so what I do for this, Ralphie like really hates it. And these combs can be like a little, like I just poke myself with it, is I just like go under and I sort of just hold and I just lightly um, comb out his little baby dreads. Um, and I just, I actually learned this from men. This is how apparently they comb their beards is from under. Cause I was doing it like this and they're like, no. Um, so I just sort of section it off and comb from under his beard. And when he has like major dreads, I spend a little bit more time. So like you can see, he just really doesn't like it. Like there's one here and I'll just pick that apart a little bit. And I don't want to hurt him, so when I need to comb one of those out, I hold it at the top so that um, it's not like pulling on his little baby face. And then I comb it out because really the only friction is where I'm holding it. He really doesn't like it though. But he, um, his beard's pretty, looking pretty good nowadays, so I'll just do a, a light combing. And I rarely um, cut Ralphie's beard. When I do it, I usually just trim it to shape it a little bit. Um, so I don't know, he likes it long, we like it long. It's just sort of his thing. Doesn't bother anyone, just looks good. Yeah, I know, I know you don't like it. Yeah, so it looks pretty good. And I can even just show you really quick when I do trim around his beard is I sort of like floof it all out so I can see the shape of it. And like over here is looking a little, so just a little nip. Um, you can see I'm very technical <laughs> with everything I do. Um, so you just do a little bit, maybe if that gets like a little bit too long, there's like some stragglers, we'll do that. But we, for the most part, we just leave that um, to, you know, be natural. You see just a little extra eye here up here. Good boy, Ralph, what a good boy. Yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions, hit me up. We'd love to talk about it. We can make other videos too. So hope this was helpful. Hope everyone is safe and healthy and we'll see you later. Can I get a paw? Can I get a paw? Oh, good boy. Good job. You did a very good job. You're going to get lots of cheese.